Last time on Dragon Ball Z, Goku and friends went through the Namek arc. In various different ways, Toon got ratioed by Frieza multiple times. Almost lost his sh but finally, he managed to win. And now, we proceed on to the Android Cell Saga today on Dragon Ball SC. Bro, sparking thing. Okay, so Trunks is still here, Q. One year has passed since the battle with Frieza on planet Namek. Frieza has survived and comes to Earth seeking revenge. However, a mysterious young man suddenly appears before him. <laughs> well, saves me the hassle of having to fight him. The young man then transforms into a Super Saiyan, just like Goku, and annihilates Frieza instantly. Vegeta gets nightmares. At the same time, Goku, who was on planet Yardrat after his escape from planet Namek, returns to Earth. The youth tells Goku that his name is Trunks, and he has come from the future. He warns that in three years, androids built by the Red Ribbon Army will arrive. Apparently, in the future, Trunks' friends have been murdered, and Goku died of a heart virus. So, he has come to give Goku some medicine for his illness. After telling Goku that he will come to their aid when the androids arrive, Trunks returns to his own time. Goku is determined to fight alongside his friends to avert the coming catastrophe in their futures. <gasps> My voice! Piccolo, what do you say? Wanna train with me and Gohan? I've been raring to fight you. Sure, sounds good to me. That's it. Okay. Krillin, what about the rest of you guys? Thanks, but I'm gonna head to Master Roshi's and train with him, actually. Well, okay. <laughs> that was fast. Okay, bye. <laughs> Can I please fight as Yamcha against Android 19? Or Dr. Zero? Three years pass, and the fated day of May 12th, blah, 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 blah. They settle in to wait for the Android's appearance. But before they know it, they're already here. Up there, in the sky, he was attacked from above. Goku and the others couldn't even sense the androids before they started landing in the streets. Suddenly, Goku senses that Yamcha's key is rapidly fading. They arrive to find him barely alive, having suffered a mortal blow at the hands of the androids. That is one of the most traumatizing moments in my life watching Dragon Ball. Seeing Yamcha get stabbed, is, that was a lot for me. There are too many innocent people here. Let's take this somewhere else. <gasps> you agree to that at least? My favorite, my favorite moment is coming up. Vegeta will be here soon. Too many innocent people? Well, that is a problem which can be easily corrected. Stop it! You bastards! It was my understanding you wanted the streets free of onlookers. Evidently, our solution does not please you. Bro, this guy sounds like customer support. That's it! Follow me and we're gonna settle this! You he clearly won't listen to you. Why would you tell him to do that again? Goku leads the androids to a deserted area, away from the town they were trying to destroy. Once at a safe distance from humanity, Goku questions the androids about how they know details about him and the others. As it turns out, Android 20 has been studying Goku and his friends ever since he defeated the Red Ribbon Army in order to learn how to defeat them. <gasps> he informs them that over time he is analyzed to come to fully grasp the power they wield. I'm sorry. <laughs> I need a rest. Android 20 is confident that victory will be his, but Goku only grins in response. <laughs> if all you know about me is from before I went to Namek, you're about to be in for a real shock. <laughs> Whoa. Hmm. Piccolo, you good? You guys stay out of this. If I'm the one these guys want, then that's what they're gonna get. A most intriguing discrepancy, this dormant power. 
It departs rather considerably from the data previously compiled. But it is not remotely discouraging. His strength is within manageable parameters. Android number 19 shall now operate as your executioner. Is that right? Fine. Then get over here and fight me. Piccolo knows something. What could he know? Oh, okay. You don't want to. Do not bother. It is futile. You're doing what now? Excuse me. Stop. The strength is immeasurable. This Super Saiyan transformation put Goku on a level far beyond us all. You. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, I panicked for a second. I thought he was gonna absorb it. <laughs> I thought he was gonna absorb the energy. That actually would have made me very sad if he did. What did he say? Did he say Dada? Dada! Bye, ugly. He's he's feeling something. Why is he exhausted? Oh? Huh? Goku loses consciousness after his battle with the androids. Once he's been given the medicine from Trunks, he comes to a few days later. During that time, androids 16, 17, and 18 awaken. And to make matters worse, a creature named Cell has appeared, seeking the ultimate power. It is through absorbing androids 17 and 18 that Cell plans to attain his perfect form. Now aware of his new foes, Goku enters the hyperbolic time chamber so he can complete a year of training in just a single day. If I want any chance of winning battles to come, I need to train hard enough to find a level beyond Super Saiyan. There was a miss no, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to press that. Piccolo's getting ready to fight. Yeah, but who? Do you think it's Cell? No. Whoever it is, I can't sense their energy. So it's got to be one of the other androids. Stop, Gohan. We can't help it. We're nowhere near their level right now. All we do is slow Piccolo down. <gasps> Dad, that energy... It's gotta be Cell! He's on the move! Are we gonna train in the time chamber? Ooh! Let's change things up! We're gonna go and actually wait. Doesn't he kind of do both? I think this is the new timeline. I'm gonna go ahead and just do this. Flashpoint! If I use my instant transmission, I might be able to get Piccolo out of there! Ah, crap. Thanks, Dad! Please save him! Goku and his friends sense that Cell is approaching Piccolo's location and uses instant transmission to hurry to Piccolo's side. Oh, that's new. Just as they arrive, however, Piccolo is attacked and mortally wounded by Cell. Seeing their friend hurt, Goku and Gohan fly into a rage. That marks the beginning of their battle with Cell. Gohan is there? Oh, this is definitely new. Stay calm, Gohan. Try to sense his energy signal. You're right. I can still feel it. Mr. Piccolo is alive. I'll buy us some time. While I do, you rescue Piccolo and hurry back here. But be careful. Uh, okay. You're Goku, aren't you? Yes. That's funny. How did you get here all of a sudden? I hadn't felt the faintest trace of your energy. That's for me to know, and you to find out. Hilarious. Well, finding out isn't exactly high on my to-do list. This is a conflict of interest. I love Cell. I don't know if I want to win. I'm going to go ahead and just it throw. It hardly matters anyway, since you'll soon be more bio extract for me to drink up. Tell him, Cell. I love go you. Try me then, Cell. Yeah. Out of my way, Goku. This freak is mine to deal with, not yours. Oh my god. I'm getting bodied. Somebody help. Ow. Rude. Back to basics. No, my baby. My baby. You'll be okay. Just get back here. Walk it off. I don't even feel bad about doing this. Sorry. What? Did he deflect it? Oh, God! 
Ah, I'm blind. Ah, I can't see. Where is everything? Watch out. What the? Oh, crap. Was I supposed to? Wait. Objective? Get hit by cell solar flare. Oh, that was supposed to happen. Oh. What? Okay, yeah. All right. This game's got me shook, man. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not ready for this. Yes, this is much better. How exhilarating. Later, Cell absorbs Android 17, getting one step closer to his perfect form. What? Check out my perfect form. It's perfect. <laughs> okay, yep. Soon after, he absorbs Android 18, thus achieving his perfect form. Following this, Cell declares that the Cell games will be held after 10 days of preparation. He states he wishes to prove the strength of his final form, enjoy a little entertainment, and of course, terrorize the world. Goku completes his training in the hyperbolic time chamber. Although he says that Cell is stronger than him, his spirit has not been crushed. Ten days pass, and the Cell games begin. Where's Vegeta? The Cell games have officially begun. Now, if any of you should dare to step forward, I would like to kick things off. I'll go first. Well, well. I was hoping to save the best for last, Goku. But so be it. Did we erase Vegeta because of Flashpoint? Come on. Huh? Too slow. No. Uh, yeah. Okay, that was very much like the actual anime. That was awesome. How did you miss? He was right in front of you. That's canon. That's canon. <laughs> what? What? What was that? <laughs> I'll win. I'd win. I'd win. Get ready to see my real strength. Stop it. This got you. It, it got you, right? It got you. It got you. <laughs> I love that sound he's making. Why are the trees bending like they're paper? Yes, I was wrong, Cell. Turns out I was just a little bit stronger than you after all. Did I did I cook too hard? Oh crap. That's it? Goku succeeds in defeating Cell's perfect form. After celebrating with his friends, he heads home. Oh, that's Go it? On, my baby! And I didn't get to do anything. Uh, are you okay, sweetheart? Are you hurt? No, I'm just taller. No, I'm okay, but... Man, we are butchering the lore. <laughs> no Super Saiyan 2. Go on! Wait, where's Goku? Dad is... No, don't tell me he's... Hey, sorry I'm late. I was talking to Krillin and the others for a sec. This is the good timeline, though, because at least the family gets to be together. Goku, you're alive! Of course I am, Chi Chi. Oh. My Kiss her already. Boys are both home safe. All right, this is the good timeline for that family. Trunks might be a little upset, though. We definitely have to do something different. Okay. So I got to lose the fight. And so we're missing all of this. This is all Vegeta stuff, obviously. This is when Vegeta's fighting. Second form cell. Okay, that's Piccolo fighting imperfect cell. Oh, we have something over here too. Yeah. Okay, so we gotta go back to the beginning and let's 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 start with this. 
So let's do this different. Alternate objective, defeat Cell. So I can't get hit by a solar flare. I have to just win. That's asking an awful lot from me, guy. That's not good. We got it. We got to resort to the cheese for the sake of the future. Flashpoint cheese. Oh, he's not even close to being dead. He's got so much health. No. Oh, he missed. <laughs> you missed. Stupid. All right, chill. Stay right there. Don't move. Just look at the birds, the pretty birds. He ate that. Okay. He's just standing there. Menacingly. No. It's my purpose to achieve perfection. I know my baby. I'm sorry. Goku and friends have successfully defeated Cell. But now the androids stand before him. Since their common enemy has been done away with, the androids return to their original objective and are about to try to kill Goku. However, the androids have suffered damage from their battle with Cell. Listen, your bodies are way too injured to be fighting right now. I'm not going anywhere, so why don't you rest up and we can do this another time? The hell are you talking about? These little scrapes are nothing. We could still take you easy. Yeah, don't throw me any sympathy. I haven't had a scratch. Uh, I'd like to introduce you to my friend Krillin. What's that supposed to mean? Well, not naming numbers, but one of us was hogging all the action and ended up with a couple boo-boos. So step aside and let a lady stretch her legs. <clears throat> yeah, whatever. You got any problems with that, 16? I like birds. Good. Glad we're on the same page. Tianchen Han, would you let me take this one on my own? Let Tien do something. Of course. Just be careful, Goku. 3v1. Hey, I don't give a crap. Go ahead. You can both attack at the same time. It's no skin off my back. No way. You being as strong as you are is actually why I want to fight you one on one. I want to test out if my current skill level matches up with yours. That's all. <laughs> don't start getting ahead of yourself. Do we just counter each other's counter? Ah! You want to keep going? Okay, that was pretty cool. <laughs> how do I do that? I don't know how I do that. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know how to do that. Sparking? Hello. This new timeline, Krillin stops the fight. Goku, stop! She's hot. Yeah. Wasn't expecting this today. We just eliminated Marin from the timeline. We have caused so many casualties from this timeline. No Vegeta, no Super Saiyan 2, Gohan, no Marin. Though inferior in power, Goku taunts Android 18, all while remaining perfectly calm. Thus, blah, 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 blah. Android 18 soon realizes she's losing and decides to abandon her fight with Goku. Ugh, that's enough. Now my clothes are all dirty. Wait, you're done? That was so quick. Untouchable as I am, I don't get that much of a kick out of fighting. Had enough time to lick your wounds? <laughs> you know androids don't run out of energy like that. I swear, you're the naggiest sibling in the world. They're putting up a much better fight now. Must have really got their head back in the game. Maybe from watching me against 18. Gotta say, Goku, you're as impressive a martial artist as the doctor said. That... And you're not nearly as annoying as that hothead, Vegeta. Where the hell is Vegeta? <laughs> Where is he? cool throughout that whole fight with 18, too. Making an android with unlimited energy sweat is quite an accomplishment. Yeah, how are you unlimited energy? What are you powered by, Crypto? I've never had more fun. All right. You just go flying. Let me charge up. Thank you. I got to stay above the water, man. We Saiyans are allergic to water because we can't charge up. Boy just booked it. I'm going to hit you with that again and you're going to take it like a champ. There we go. Uh -oh. <laughs> Only let my guard down for a second, but you're something else. Thanks. Want to be friends? You want to stop your kill order? Realizing he can't defeat Goku. 
Android 17 lowers his guard. However, his expression seems somewhat pleased. Android 17, who had searched for Goku as if it were a game, feels like he has had enough fun with the fight. I think I'm a little burnt out on all the fighting today. Let's get out of here. How are we going to get Krillin and 18 hooked up? Android 16's gaze remains displeased as he stares at Goku. Oh! What's the deal? We going or what? Oh! He doesn't like birds in this timeline. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Whoa! 16. What got into you all of a sudden? You look pissed. My mission is to kill Goku, and I intend to accomplish it. But what about birds? Dude, chill. I will end your existence, for it is the only purpose of my existence. Everyone and everything else is secondary. <clears throat> uh, Tien, you want to help me out? It's now or never. Are we doing this? Can I transform? For a spirit bomb. Eat the spirit bomb! Android 16? Never thought I'd see that. Yeah, I still can't transform or do anything. So this is just a 1v1 in my base form. No, I have no form to change to. I don't want to just keep using sparking, but I want to try to practice some combos. Let's try to practice some combos here. Disengaging limiter. Excuse me. <laughs> I must use my last oh my voice. God. Farewell. The f oh crap. That wasn't supposed to happen. Oh my God. The one time I decided to take it easy. <laughs> it nuked my ass. Yeah, two can play at this game. Okay, he's doing a much better job. Dude, he's an actual troll! This boy is an actual troll, dude. Uh, ah, ah, no, no, he's gonna combo into the thing! He's gonna stop! Let go! Stop it! Stop! Oh. It all comes down to this. Go to hell, 16. Don't you dare, 16. I'm not letting you blow yourself up. Ah, <laughs> yeah, about that. Don't tell me. You have a self-destruct device inside of you as well? I mean, this is fair. They never knew this, right? I, I told you both before. My sole mission is to kill Goku at any cost. What about birds? Then why haven't you already? You could wipe this entire island off the map with that explosion. <laughs> That's enough. You can't beat me in the state you're in now. <laughs> and besides, you don't really seem like a bad guy. I actually like birds. Even if you're technically a robot, I could feel your intent to kill. But if it really is your mission, why didn't you go for it during the fight with Cell? Because I was distracted. Instead, you chose to defend your fellow androids, which means... It's simple. There is much wildlife living all around this island. I did not want to obstruct nature with the fallout of our battle. And yet you murdered me twice before we reached this point. Care to comment? But hear me, Goku. One day I will fulfill my purpose. You took care not to harm any innocent life, animal nor human. I believe you are both good people. I have enjoyed traveling together. Well, who says we can't still keep doing it? Then you know what? Let's have our first stop by the mall. I'm in desperate need of some new... Android 16 in, in a new outfit? That'd be actually kind of funny. Can we see that? It looks like the battle is over. <laughs> look, at, look at Gohan. Does this mean I'm going to be irrelevant for another arc? Yep. Goku! We're Cell! And the androids! And, uh, uh 18! You, you didn't defeat them all already, did you? Well, I think they'll be back. Huh? Huh? Hey, I make that noise. <laughs> In the wake of Cell's defeat, 
the three androids depart. Peace is once again restored thanks to Goku and his friends. Oh, I think Someday, this is the end of the arc. Powerful artificial humans may show their faces again, but when they do, will they be friend or foe? Whatever the outcome, Goku is sure to be stronger than ever and ready to defend the world. Yep, Gohan becomes a nerd even sooner in life. All right, so that is the end of one version of the Android Cell Saga, but there's plenty more. All right, so we finished this. Now we got to go up here and we got to finish this other version up here. All of this can't be done without Vegeta. All right, so here we got to defeat Cell or not defeat Cell. And then this is where Gohan would show up? Defeat Cell quickly. Survive the battle against Cell. So we did the alternate objective. So we got to just, we just can't die. Where are you? Oh God! Oh, oh! You've backed me into a corner. No, I haven't. I literally haven't. Ah! Move! Bow, 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 bow. Why are we fighting? Why aren't we just friends? Oh, okay. There we go. We got it. I give up. I fought as hard as I could, but it's pretty clear there's no way I can beat you. So that's it for me. He must have been really mad that I ringed him out. That's why he tried to murder me. All right, new timeline. Or the original timeline. Enjoying his fight with Goku immensely, Cell realizes what a shame it would be if one of them were to lose on a trivial technicality. You lost! Like going out of bounds. So he destroys the ring entirely. But to Cell's surprise, Goku announces that he's throwing in the towel. Believing that Gohan's strength has surpassed his, Goku entrusts the fate of Earth to Gohan. However, Goku has misunderstood. Even though Gohan has obtained greater strength, he's still a kind-hearted youth. The truth is, I hate fighting. And I don't want to kill anyone. Believe it or not, I don't even want to kill a bad guy like you. What? Cell decides he's going to purposely enrage Gohan to force him to reveal his true power. So he produces Cell Juniors to inflict pain on Goku and the others. Oh, are we gonna fight? Are we gonna fight them? Now, my precious little babies, see those seven spectators up there. Kill them all! Oh, there's Vegeta! These things are way stronger than they look! Damn it all! I, I'm sorry, guys. I messed up. I didn't think things would end up like this. Yep. We squaring up with the minions. Watch me lose to this guy like five times. Stop, bro. Stop, bro. Stop. Right now. No, I don't like being blinded. It hurts. I got him. I got him. You brought this on yourself, Cell. Now you're finally gonna pay for all the suffering you've caused. Go on. What are you doing? Finish him. It's all up to you! What, do you want me to end it already? <laughs> I'm not letting him off that easy. He deserves to feel the same pain he put all his victims through. Dude's getting caught. Ew. <laughs> Am I seeing things or did he just puke up 18? Now's your chance, Krillin. Date her. Language! Huh? Nah, you good, man. I'm just trolling. In a few moments, I'll blow myself to bits. <laughs> I might die, but then so will all of you. This planet will explode in a burst of flame. I get to explode in first person. Boom! Bye-bye, Earth! No 
sense in wasting your last few seconds while you got them. <laughs> Let me explode in first person. What if I get to just choose to not leave? <laughs> just explode the whole earth. I've killed us. It's all my fault. I could have finished him, but I didn't. <laughs> I... I know that look. Sorry, I've thought this over, guys. Well, any way you slice it, there's only one way to save Earth. Goodbye, my friends. Uh, goodbye? You're not thinking of... Goku! No! Oh, look at that! Today, Gohan. Made me proud. Dad, what are you... Tell your mom I'm sorry. I'm not going to make it home this time. Awkward shot of self. His, his energy, it's gone without a trace. Dad! That was awesome. That was awesome. Can we go to King Kai's planet real quick before? Yes. What? Yes. What is wrong with you? You can't bring that guy here. Uh, sorry, King Kai. I was kind of short on options. <laughs> Why is this just funny to me? Oh! Goku uses instant transmission to bring himself and Cell to King Kai's planet and save Earth from Cell's destruction. Cell successfully regenerates his body and returns to Earth, but Gohan, inspired by Goku's words, stands to meet him, ready to end him once and for all. Everyone wants to revive Goku, but he asks them to stop. Take care, okay? Live your lives to the fullest, and I'll see you again when you're dead! Bye-bye! <laughs> no, I didn't mean to... <laughs> I didn't mean to press that. I think we finished Goku's involvement in the Android Cell Saga. Yes. All right. So Android Cell Saga is complete. We will revisit and go through everything with the other characters in the future. Next time on Dragon Ball Sparking Zero.